Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Daniel Bushes. I've had a couple people reach out to me and ask about the Infusionsoft WordPress plugin. So uh, I decided I'm gonna shoot this video. It's less than five minutes and it's gonna walk you through how to basically set it up, okay? So this is ideal if you have WordPress and you have Infusionsoft, okay? And so what the, the plugin is gonna enable you to do is actually have Infusionsoft Web Forms built right in to your WordPress uh, website, and you can also get some stats in there, um, which is kinda cool. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump over to Infusionsoft, and um, I've kind of uh, sped this up for you all, so where I went is I went to the Infusionsoft ribbon, and then what I did is I scrolled all the way over to the admin section and I clicked into the settings. Okay, so admin settings. And then you'll see right here, uh, I'm gonna zoom in again for you, right here, and then we're gonna click into the application. Okay, so now after you've clicked into the application section, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna copy right here the encrypted key. Now. If for any reason that uh, you don't see your encrypted key, okay, and it's blank, well then what you need to do is just type in something that you're gonna remember, a password there, and then click save and the encrypted key will actually show up, okay? So now that we've got the encrypted key right here, this guy copied, and I just did a command C on my Mac, is I'm gonna jump into WordPress, okay? Now I'm in my the back end of my WordPress website. I'm in the plugin section, okay? So right here, I'm in the plugin section, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to add new, and I'll click on that guy, all right? And then, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to search plugins, right, this right over here, and then I'm gonna type in Infusionsoft, Infusionsoft, enter, all right, and about, Halfway down the page, our little friend right here, Infusionsoft, I'm gonna zoom in for you, hang on. There we go, Infusionsoft official opt-in form. So, just click install, should take about 30 seconds. All right, it's installed, cool. So I'm gonna zoom back out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to installed plugins. So I'm gonna click on that guy. Okay, cool. So now that we've got installed plugins, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the Infusionsoft official, and I'm gonna zoom in for you, opt-in form, which is this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click activate. And once we click activate, what should happen is on the left-hand side, if you scroll down now, you'll see right here, Infusionsoft. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the settings real fast, and I'm gonna click on the settings. Okay, and then we're gonna click on new account. And then it's gonna ask for the API key, okay? That's that encrypted thing that we passed, uh, that we uh, paste, uh, copied, sorry. Now I'm gonna paste that big thing. And then the application name. So, anytime you log into Infusionsoft, after you've logged in, in the URL, you should see, you know, of course, infusionsoft.com and then forward slash a whole bunch of stuff. But right before infusionsoft.com, you should actually see two alphabetical letters and three numbers. That's actually your app name, okay? Um, if you happen to have a really old app um, way back in the day, uh, like 2009 back in the day, you could actually name your own app. Um, that's been long, long, long retired. So um, if you happen to have been around Infusionsoft that long, you might have something you named it, like John or whatever. Um, but for the most part, it should be like, you know, uh, BZ584 or something like that. Mine happens to be DE232. So I'm gonna go ahead and I type that in there and then click authorize. Should take about 60 seconds and uh, save and exit, and there we go. That is it. So we are actually now uh, all set up. So the cool thing is here, now that we're all turned on, you can actually click over here into the sections for opt-in forms, and let me zoom out. 
Okay, so I just turned this on, so obviously we don't have any active opt-in forms. But the other thing too is you can actually check, and it will give you stats, which is pretty cool. So you can view your opt-in stats, you can view your page stats, and now that we start, we can actually start to plug stuff into the to our WordPress website. Um, we'll actually be be able to see the opt-in stats, and that will actually fire right from our Infusionsoft application, which is pretty cool. So I hope you found this helpful. I didn't dive too deep onto the campaign builder side. I just wanted to show you how to install it. Have a great day. Take care.